The discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation is considered to be a landmark test of the Big Bang model of the universe. The cosmic microwave background radiation, or the CMB, is thermal radiation assumed to be left over following an early stage of development after the Big Bang. The CMB can be detected in the background or in the space between stars and galaxies using a radio telescope. This radiation is almost the same in all directions and is not associated with any particular object. It also shows up as a faint glow. The existence of the CMB was first predicted in 1946. The CMB was accidentally discovered in 1964 by two radio astronomers, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson. The CMB was first identified as static on their radio telescope, and they eventually won the Nobel Prize for this discovery in 1978. The cosmic microwave background radiation originated from the early universe, prior to about 300,000 years after the Big Bang. At this time, the universe was much hotter and much more dense than it is today and it was filled with a uniform glow caused by the hydrogen plasma that was present. Around 300,000 years following the Big Bang, as the universe continued to expand and cool, for the first time, electrons and protons were able to combine. This is the first time that neutral atoms were able to form in the early universe. This significant event caused the universe to become transparent and to lose that uniform glow that was there because of the plasma. This made it so that the universe was no longer filled with an opaque fog. The light that was present at this key transition point in the universe still remains today. And over time, it's become less energetic and fainter. And because of the expansion of the universe, all of this light has also increased its wavelength and is extremely redshifted. There have been many scientists and scientific tools that have been used to research the cosmic microwave background radiation. Some of the most notable are the COBE satellite, first launched in 1990, the WIMAP satellite from 2001, and the ground-based BICEP and Keck arrays, which are based in the South Pole, which started in 2006. As measurement tools, like those mentioned, have improved, scientists have been able to look at the CMB more closely and more precisely. As these tools have improved, scientists have been able to find smaller and smaller variations in the CMB. And this has helped to validate the CMB as evidence of the Big Bang Theory. The key reason for studying and referencing the cosmic microwave background radiation is because it serves as evidence of the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang model states that this type of radiation should exist in our universe and that it originated from that point where neutral atoms first formed about 300,000 years after the Big Bang. Because we're able to find this cosmic microwave background radiation at the edges of our universe, it serves as a pinnacle evidence of the Big Bang Theory.